Today we're going to install a float valve on the Easy Green Sprouter so that water will automatically be added to the sprouter so we won't have to come back every day or two and fill the reservoir up. First thing we want to do is remo remove the mister unit from the Easy Green Sprouter and to do that we take off the four screws that hold it in place. And then we just remove the mister unit and we can set that aside for now. Next thing we want to do is measure up three quarters of an inch from here and that's where we'll drill our hole. So the center of the drill will go three quarters of an inch above this base here and then we'll go ahead and we'll drill a hole and it's a 7 16 inch hole. Now I've already pre-drilled the hole but just to give you an idea we just drill right through right in the center here <clears throat> and that's where our float valve was going to go. And this is the float valve assembly so we'll go ahead and unscrew the nut that will hold it in place. Make sure this rubber flange is here so water doesn't leak through. Let me just go ahead and place it through the hole where the mister is and we set it right up into the hole that we just drilled. And then we secure it to the Easy Green Sprouter. Now we want to tighten the nut down so that it's good and snug so we have a good watertight seal. So just a few turns after you've hand tightened it just to make sure it's good and snug. And that ought to work there. Now as you can see uh, the float valve is in the unit screwed in and you want to make sure that the wing nut there is level across and that way your float valve will be level across as well. I know it's kind of hard to see because it's white on white. <clears throat> but that's what it looks like in the unit. Now you want to make sure that the bottom of the float isn't touching the bottom of the Easy Green, so you want to raise it up approximately five millimeters. Now what I've used is a washer from a hose and just stuck it underneath there and then tightened the wing nut down to keep it in position. Now that the float is in the unit and secure, we can go ahead and place the mister unit and attach it back to the Easy Green with the four screws. I purchased a saddle valve from a local hardware store and tapped it into a cold water line to run to the Easy Green Sprouter float valve. So this will be the water supply for the Easy Green now. Then I attached quarter inch tubing to the saddle valve and ran it over to the Easy Green Sprouter where it will attach to our newly installed float valve. So we just go ahead and screw the new line into the float valve. Just make sure it's snug. You don't need to over tighten it. And then we'll go ahead and turn on the saddle valve and let it fill up with water. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the saddle valve now. And you can hear the water starting to go into, into the Easy Green. Okay, you can see the water level is starting to fill up now. And once it gets up to the 5 mark there, it'll automatically shut off. And each time the Easy Green comes on, that water will automatically be replenished. So all you have to do basically is put the seed in the tray, put the tray in the sprouter, plug the unit into the timer, and in four to five days, you'll have a new crop of sprouts. It's as easy as that. Now the reservoir is full. 
the water is shut off and we're ready to start a new batch of sprouts. Thanks for watching and make sure you get your seeds from OrganicSproutingSeeds.com. Have a great day!